Hi, I'm Chanel. I'm Kim. And I'm Alex. And, and we're, we're representing for La Bouche Rouge Lipstick. Read us on Blogger, like us on Facebook, and follow us on our Twitter and Pinterest accounts. During our four-week-long social media campaign, we analyzed six lipstick brands. Chanel, Dior, Estee Lauder, MAC, Sephora, and Yves Saint Laurent. We study their performance on social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Observe where the brand's use of search engine optimization, brand campaigns, posting habits and user engagement, social media popularity, and fan pages. Blogger was used as the blogging platform for Le Bouche Rouge Lipstick. The appearance of the blog was inspired by the looks of beauty brands websites and social media pages with a minimal yet classic layout and spare use of accent colors. Blog posts went up approximately three to four times per week. The content consisted of in-depth analysis and comparison between two brands. Our blog was viewed by 92 users over the course of five weeks, which means we exceeded our goal of 75 users. The For La Bouche Rouge Facebook page currently has 63 likes. We exceeded our original goal of 60 likes. Visitors will find La Bouche Rouge brand promotion, which contains links to our most recent blog posts, as well as industry-related news and events. With the Twitter handle SACMOUT4, For La Bouche Rouge Lipstick currently has 44 followers. Unfortunately, we were not able to meet our goal of 60 followers. Our Twitter page consists of brand promotion with links to our most recent blog posts and industry-related news and events. Our third social media account was on Pinterest. Unfortunately, it proved to be our least popular account, unable to gain any followers over the course of our campaign. For La Bouche Rouge pinned to a board titled Lipstick Loves, there you will find pins about our brands, blog posts, and favorite lipstick products. On February 16th, the introduction entry of our team, as well as six lipstick brands, was posted on our blog. Near the end of February, blog entries were posted daily at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for four weeks. Each blog entry analyzed one or two of our selected lipstick brands, social media strategies, and presence. At the same time, our daily blog entries, two Facebook and Twitter posts, as well as one Pinterest pin, was scheduled to be posted on Hootsuite. When promoting our blog on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, we use the 50-50 strategy. The strategy means that daily we had one post about our blog and one re relating to our topic, which was usually reblogged or retweeted. Search engine optimization is the process of affecting the visibility of a website or a web page in a search engine's unpaid results. These results are referred to as natural or organic. When you search keywords in search engines like Google, Bing, or Yahoo, the SEO ranks the results and are considered after paid ads. When you search for La Bouche Rouge on Google, Blogspot comes in sixth place out of the other results. On Blogspot, we were able to attach labels into every post so when someone searches anything with relevant keywords, the blog could be discovered. HTML tags are important to store keywords, description, the title, and all information on sites and pages. HTML tags allow consumers and readers to discover brands over the internet by searching words they are interested in. Regarding our six brands, keywords that have resulted in first page CEO are lipstick, plump, bold, luscious, pure color envy, long lasting, bold, and more. The keywords relevant to specific brands were incorporated into the blog posts through labels on the blog posts and hashtags on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. When someone surfing the web searches the word, the post comes up in search results. The top 10 keyword sentences used with six brands are Be Bold, Lip Shape, Make a Statement, Enhance Natural Beauty, Pure Color, Long Lasting Shades, Cream Lipstick, Long Wear Lip Color, and Intense Lipstick. Low competition and high relevance is good because you want your site to rank high on the SEO from the relevance of your keyword competing with other sites. 
Content marketing is defined as a strategic approach used by successful marketers. This is the practice of creating and delivering content that is both relevant and valuable to target markets on a consistent basis. To further promote their Dior Durific lipstick, the brand can create an ad campaign involving their newest celebrity spokesmodel, Jennifer Lawrence. A video of her applying the lipstick, taking a selfie, and then saying I am Durific can be uploaded onto YouTube and the brand's website. This will then be advertised on Instagram and Twitter, encouraging users to take a photo of themselves wearing the lipstick, accompanied by the hashtag I am Durific. The audience of this ad campaign includes current Dior fans, beauty makeup junkies, and the primary Dior target market, females ages 18 to 35. The purpose of this ad campaign is to gain more followers and brand popularity through user engagement. This would be scheduled to launch during the spring-summer season, as lipstick shades are the most fun and bright, creating a light, playful atmosphere perfectly complementing the bubbly personality of Jennifer Lawrence. A potential new marketing campaign for Sephora can be to partner with celebrity makeup artists and selected celebrities. The celebrity makeup artists will film tutorial videos while doing a celebrity's makeup. While applying the makeup, these artists will only use products that can be purchased from Sephora. They'll inform viewers of the steps they are taking and the products they are using while applying the makeup to the celebrity. By partnering with these makeup artists, Sephora will not only gain a larger following base on each platform, they'll also appear to their current followers. The goal of this marketing campaign would be to gain followers, likes, shares, and views on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The campaign will attract our target audience because not only does the tutorial video keep people engaged by teaching them how to apply makeup, it also features a celebrity. Previous Sephora campaigns, which featured a well-known celebrity such as Kendall Jenner, were extremely successful because of Kendall's popularity among Sephora's target audience. A new marketing campaign idea for MAC is to host an event inviting all victims of burn, melanoma, acne or acne scars, and anyone else that lacks self-confidence whom would benefit in an enhancing beauty event. The free one-day event will be hosted in a convention center hosted by MAC, for free makeovers for a selected group of men and women noticed online for their videos telling Mac why they lack self-confidence and wish to participate. After all participants are decided, the event will take place with volunteer Mac makeup artists. The whole day will be designated to make over the victims. First, they'll walk through a room with interviewers, talking to them, taking before pictures. When they walk further into the room full of enthusiastic and loud music, they will get hyped and begin to have fun. Once their makeover is completed, they're on their way out. A third room will be used to exit, mocking a red carpet with cameras to document the finished product and ask questions about their experience. A mashed up video from the event will be posted to summarize the purpose, show before and after photos, and write how the event changed their lives for the short period of time they were there. On all of Mac's social media pages, it will show how people, especially targeted females, show that everyone is beautiful and showing how confident women feel after the event. For MAC, the campaign will promote the effectiveness of the products and it will also create brand awareness for consumers. By showing consumers MAC is a real brand and cares about confidence and enhancing inner beauty through makeover will get people talking. To identify the top influencers for our industry and brands, we use the tool Hashtagify. Hashtagify is a search engine that allows users to discover the most popular hashtags on Twitter. These six user, Twitter users were found to be the top influences to reach across various platforms with the hashtag lipstick. This information is useful because it, with the new insight gained from these Twitter users, we can become an influencer ourselves. An infographic is a representation of information in a graphic format designed to make the data easily understandable at a glance. Infographics are used to quickly communicate a message simplify large amounts of data, see data patterns, and to monitor changes in variables over time. Though we did not use an infographic for our campaign, we wanted to still share a perfect example of one. The following reports were used to analyze how effective our blog and social media platforms are in regards to reaching and engaging consumers. 
Google Analytics is solely purpose to track reports and records website traffic from our blogger account. During this campaign, we utilized tools analyzing page views, viewers location, sessions, most frequently viewed posts, social media turnout, conversion from platforms, and identifying most and least effective posts and pages. The audience overview is generally the first page on the Google Analytics report. It contains a chart of traffic by date and numbers like page views, average time, sessions, users, and new and returning visitors. On average, the best week notable was week three with a relatively high amount across the table. The audience geo language report provides information on the different types of languages readers use to translate the content. The most popular language recorded in the analytics from February 14th to April 11th is US English. The data is use useful because it allows marketers to know what language their readers speak. Audience geolocation reports is used to know if marketing efforts are driving traffic from the right regions. This map and table provides us with the information of where around the world our viewers come from and shows the turnout rate around the globe. As you can see, the majority of our users come from Canada. The acquisition overview allows marketers to get an inside look at the top channels sending viewers to their site or blog. From the top acquisition channel table, we can conclude that social platforms, on average, gain us the most views. From the social traffic table, we can conclude that Blogger and Facebook are our top social traffic sites. From the behavior overview report, marketers can determine their top pages by analyzing how many views each page receives and the average amount of time spent on each page. From March 11th to April 11th, we can conclude that the blog post La Bouge Rouge Lipstick has the highest number of page views with 171 out of 350. The, num the average time spent on a page is 2 minutes and 19 seconds. The Behavior Site Content Report allows us to see our top pages in regards to the highest average time spent on page. Our top blog post is Mac Content Marketing Campaign with the average time being 28 minutes. Hootsuite Analytics is a social media analysis service that allows you to measure the effectiveness of their social media outreach. We used Hootsuite to identify that as of April 11, 2016. We have 44 Twitter followers and following 63 and belong to one listed. We reached roughly 38 Twitter followers on April 10th and 11th. We used Hootsuite to identify that from March 11th to April 11th, we received 43 likes on our For La Bouche Rouge Lipstick Facebook page. Our page engagement rate was 32 and we reached a 191% weekly total reach. On our chosen third social media platform, Pinterest, we had not had any viewing action over the past 30 days. This may be due to lack of followers and not enough advertising about our Pinterest page. The 50-50 rule could have been incorporated with a Twitter and Facebook to advertise the existence of the Pinterest page. Through the examination of six brands, we compare the different companies' web presence, SEO analysis, and marketing campaigns. We use Google Analytics to report our analytics from the social media platforms we use to judge the effectiveness of our posts and analyze trends. In using key tools such as Hashtagify, Blogger, Hootsuite, and Google Trends, we manage the blogging and 50-50 rule much easier.